اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين ما شاء الله لا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ماذا ذي السلام لي أسيد شعب الله الفائزة والثاني ماذا السلام لي أسيد شعب محمد ناظم عدل حقاني ماذا السيد شعب محمد عدل رباني أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وولي الأمر منكم طريقتنا الصحبة والخير في الجمعية Our way is companionship and goodness is in gatherings of good people for good purpose This is the وصية of شاهو بهاء الدين نقشبان الويسي البخاري He 12,000 times it is mentioned in the other he would say this in the beginning of every sohba. Subhanallah, the words of Grand Masters. If we follow this advice only of Mawlana Shaykh Bahauddin Naqshavand Al-Waisi Al-Bukhari, we would live a good life and we would reach eternal happiness. Just to keep company of goodness, company of good ones, Ahl Al-Khair, those who understand the reality and who use their time and life and energy to reach Allah's pleasure. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us their company, we would need nothing else. Because by virtue of being with them, also you would transform into something pleasing to Allah. We mention this often. I remind myself of this. Now, inshallah, we are hoping things will open up and there's ability to accompany good ones, to sit with, with good ones. We're hoping to go and visit our Shaykh Mullah Shaykh Muhammad Adar Rabbani. Inshallah, it's been over a year since we have been physically with him. And we pray, inshallah, Allah grant us the company of good ones wherever we are, inshallah. Because their company, why, what is sohba? What is the sohba that Mullah Shaykh uh, Bahauddin Naqshband al Bukhari talking about? The companionship is really, the, in reality, the companionship of Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, Not the rank of companionship of physically meeting Prophet وسلم, no but to be connected to that chain from one Prophet وسلم, then Sahaba then Tabi'een then Tabi'i Tabi'een that connection and that Isnad and that link is uninterrupted by accompanying the good one of this age by accompanying awliyaullah in this time, you are in reality linking yourself to those who are linked to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa That is the importance of having mashayikh, having a shaykh to follow. It's not just learning ABC and books and recitations and so forth. It's all important, but the most important aspect of it is that you are now when you follow a wali, when you have a shaykh, a real shaykh, a rabbani shaykh, then you are linked to that shaykh who is linked through his mashayikh all the way to Sayyidina Muhammad Wasallam. One connection, one link. This is something that those who oppose following mashayikh or taking bay'ah with mashayikh or they don't understand. Prophet ﷺ said, pray as you have, as you see me pray. And how, how we're going to pray? There are no videos of Sayyidina Muhammad ﷺ praying for us to see him. How, how people 1400 years later can fulfill that advice and that order. The only way to do it is to pray as you see your Shaykh pray 
uh, and he prays as he sees his sheikh prays, and he prays as he sees his sheikh prays, all the way uninterrupted to a Sahabi who prayed with Prophet Sallallahu and saw him as he prayed. That you could say, I am praying as if I am seeing Prophet Sallallahu as I am seeing him, because I'm I'm emulating one who is emulating Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu through a living connection. This is something really essential. And today, people don't believe anymore in the importance of that living link to Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Not only that, even their aqidah have been poisoned to believe that Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu is not important in their spiritual life. That they don't need him for anything. They don't need to have a connection with him. That's how how poisoned Muslims have become in their aqaid, in their beliefs. So our duty is like an ant. We are not sheikhs. We are not scholars. We are ones who came to a real murshid asking for Allah's pleasure. And he put us allowed us to accompany them. May Allah sanctify Mawlana Sheikh Muhammad Nazim Adil Haqqani's soul and raise him higher. And he put us with also Mashaykh he raised to teach us. And through that connection, he taught us the importance. What did we learn from Mashaykh? The importance of having a connection to Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu That's tariq. That's all we've learned, really. The importance of honoring and loving the one whom Allah honored and loved. The importance of loving him so that one can have a heart that is alive. Because that heart is alive is dependent on your relation and your connection to Sayyid al Mursaleen. It's not dependent on how much you've studied. It's not dependent on how much you've memorized. It's not dependent on how long you pray. It's not dependent on any of this thing. Dhul Khuwaisira was a person at the time of Prophet ﷺ that was like that, was a person, very, very tough person and very, very uh, dedicated his prayer, his uh, fasting, his uh, diligence with uh, learning the Allah's book. But it didn't benefit him. And Prophet ﷺ gave a very harsh verdict about Dhul Khuwaisira. Why? Because, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, because he had no manners. He had no love for Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Because when uh, Prophet ﷺ was dividing the booty from the uh, war, he said to Prophet ﷺ, you are not fair. You have not been just in your division. Meaning, what that showed is that he had no love or respect for Sayyidina Muhammad. No matter how much he prayed, no matter how much he fasted, no matter how much he knows of Holy Quran, no matter how much he knows of... uh, knowledges, his bad manners and his lack of love and mahabba to Prophet Sallallahu did not benefit him even though he spent a lot of time in the company of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu But if you have love and mahabba to Prophet Sallallahu even though your faith, your, your practices are imperfect, even though you may have misgivings you may have sin as Nu'aiman is an example, another Sahabi who was a jester and he was also a drunk person, a person who drinks. He was before Islam addicted to alcohol and he couldn't stop it. But he loved Allah and his Prophet and Prophet gave him the verdict, gave him the 
stamp that he loves Allah and his Prophet ﷺ. When one of the companions wanted to curse him, he said, don't curse him. He, love, he loves Allah and his Prophet ﷺ. See? So the importance you learn from Mashayikh is the importance of that mahabba, the importance of that respect for Sayyidina Muhammad Wasallam is what is going to save us. Even though our actions and our deeds and our knowledge is short, falls short, uh, way short, but he sallallahu alayhi wasallam, his mahabba will mend whatever shortcomings we have. On the other hand, if you have a lot of deeds and no mahabba and no respect and no adab, it doesn't matter how much uh, you do, it's not going to help you. As Dul Khuwaisira found out, those people, Prophet ﷺ, not only he gave a verdict about Dul Khuwaisira, but he said many like him will come. Many people that their recitation of Holy Quran will make you feel like uh, shy to recite. And their memory, memorization and their uh, long qiyam will make you feel shy, like you're not doing anything compared to these people. But he said that the Quran does not pass beyond their throats in their recitation. And they, Allah does not give them any understanding in, this, in his religion because of their lack of manners. Lack of manners and lack of mahab. Because they didn't sit with mashayikh. They didn't accompany real lovers of Prophet And that is the dilemma. This is what we're living now. And this is what we're trying to say. Everything is centered around the same thing. Oh, people, as my Shaykh Mulan Shaykh Nazim used to say, as Mulan Shaykh Muhammad now says, is you have to love Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, you have to teach that love to your kids if you want their safety. Two things will save us, love of Allah and His Prophet and our respect and honoring of Holy Quran, Allah's words. So we have to teach people about our Prophet وسلم, what we know. We know a drop in an ocean of His greatness that we learned but we have to, as we learn from our Shaykh and as they instill that love in our hearts, also in our gatherings, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to point people to understand that they need to build a connection and a relationship to Prophet Wasallam, built on adab and respect and love and honor. And the more one increases in these traits, the more Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises them and grants them his pleasure. And so, alhamdulillah, by the barakah of our mashayikh, we have now a Know Your Prophet Center in Toronto. Inshallah, we're hoping when things open up, we will, inshallah, start having events regularly of zikr, of mawlid, of Sirah, of uh, inshallah, under the guidance of Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad Adil Rabbani. And we're waiting, inshallah, if, if those days come, we're making intentions. Also, nothing is in our hands. We're intending to do all these things. We're intending to spread the love of Sayyidina Muhammad. We're intending to hold gatherings of Dhikrullah, and we're intending to hold Mawalid. And we're intending to make people happy, inshallah, and uh, understanding something better about Prophet Sallallahu through this organization. That is our goal and that's our intention. If Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala gives it tawfiq and by the barakah of our mashayikh, inshallah, something will happen, something will come out of it. If not, alhamdulillah. We hope, inshallah, Allah keeps us with our Shaykh and keeps us uh, from Ahl al-Dhikr and teach us, keep us from Ahl, from the people of love of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to 
grant us to live dunya on iman inshallah and grant us to do things that will benefit us and benefit others inshallah dunya al-ukhra wa min allahi tawfiq bi hurmat al-habib bi hurmat al-fatiha